Here with Hinch, Thursday night training ahead of Whitehawk, another Sussex derby here at Woodside. Um, in your talk there, Hinch, you were saying that Whitehawk are pretty much as close to a, a National League club as anyone else in this league. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, definitely. I think the personnel they've got, the big, strong, physical side, is what you see in the, the league above. And they've got personnel that have played that level. And, yeah, good calibre. I think if they kept that side from the start of the season, they would be up and around it and the, the form table reflects that as well. You know, Whitehall, you look at them, they're at the bottom of the table, but do you think uh, the, the players are aware that they're a good side and that doesn't really reflect their form? Yeah, if they're not aware now that the teams down the bottom of this table can pick up points from the teams at the top, then they never will be. It's, it's like the Championship on their day. Um, you know, Harlow went and got a result um, on Saturday and, you know, you can't rule any team out. On the day, you get a bit of luck and you know, uh, especially teams come here, they tend to sit behind the ball and, you know, if, if, if they score and, you know, they, an early goal, um, it makes it even more difficult for ourselves. So we, we've, got to, we've got to be aware of, of the threat that they, they pose and, um, yeah, there's that threat throughout the league, you know, each game to the next is, is a tough game. On an injury front, Hinch, how have we uh, pulled up after last weekend's game? Yeah, everyone seems good bill of health, um, no injuries. Uh, Alex Parsons rolled his ankle in training on Tuesday, but he's out for four games now anyway, so um, yeah, he shouldn't be out too long with that. Um, we're seeing that tonight and he'll be back uh, by the time he's he's back available. So yeah, it's all good and it, it bodes well. Like I said to the lads, you've got to, got to show who's going to start and who's going to get the shirt in training and what I see in training. Um, you know, go, go and earn it from what I see in, in the sessions and that's the way it's got to be I think um, if you've got a good squad of, of players and they're all at it and working hard and all want to put on that shirt on the Saturday then uh, it, it bodes well moving forward I know you've said in previous interviews that you take one game at a time but we're getting to that business part now are you sort of thinking about playoffs seedings who you could potentially play if we make it is that starting to creep into your thoughts nah, not at all to us not, not you know, it's, it's, it's so so tight. You know, if we was in Dawkins' position, then then maybe you know you start looking at them sort of stuff. But position we're in, we've just got to, like I say, keep scrapping and take each game as it comes. We've got a real real tough running. You know, the last eight games are some big big games in life for us to play. But yeah, we just keep on improving our performances. Um, we've shown how we can improve from Saturday um, and. You know our game plan for this Saturday coming, so we just keep on trying to improve our performances and worry about ourselves. And if we do that, we know we're a tough team to play against. Also, another Sussex derby. They seem to be coming in, coming every other week at the moment. Is the message just to embrace it, embrace that Woodside crowd that could be here Saturday? Yeah, we've got to, we've got to. We've uh, disappointed them far too often this year. Um, the last couple of games have been a bit better uh, in terms of. Us actually being a bit more entertaining um, and on the front foot so yeah we've, we've got to start turning some of these draws into into three points especially at home brilliant hence